The B and B boys knowing where each other are. Luigi rejected by Selby. He le Plavic left side and look at the defense by Butler. Finds Brown two on one. Oh. Selby! And Kevin Stallings wants another timeout. Everybody get into the action early, including Johnny Selby. You're watching Big East basketball on ESPN Plus. Out of the timeout. Very important strategic move. They cannot stay with UConn this way. But UConn in practice today. Shot clock inside 10 for the first time. Down low, beautiful lob feed. Selby can't finish but gets his own rebound and the foul. Nice feed down low by the junior college transfer Hayes. Threes a year ago with 55. His first tonight. Round drive, feeds inside to Selby for two more. He's got 11. You mentioned, Bob, no one on the offensive board. That's by design. Don't give up anything. Selby inside for the jam. Left side, Gordon, on the dribble, gets by Freegy. Great penetration, and Selby finding the open spot. St. John's twice, maybe Maryland. And a block by Selby. Ready for that, or you'll get worn out. Selby got caught under the basket, got it back, kept the bucket, he'll get a free throw. Connecticut just... Blew out New Hampshire with three-point shooting. Selby got it down low. <laughs> Shot up and in. Of the game. So again, the zone by the Wildcats. Selby has got a size advantage. Hard drive and a quick layup by Johnny Selby. Dante Jones, a transfer from Rutgers, now a member of the Duke Blue Devils. And that's a tip-in by Johnny Selby. It extends the, the first game inside the first shot is blocked away and finished with around 17 turnovers but they came back to win the game inside first shot is up and in for UConn that's a fairly typical Connecticut possession sting of New Hampshire last Monday big work so far in this game man Baskin plethora so I see Princeton since you're deserting me basket is up and in Johnny Selby hits. Colucci tries to pass. It's stolen away by UConn, and the Huskies run. Nice bounce pass. Little shuffle of the feet, but the bucket good from Johnny Selby. Brown. And now they go to the baseline for Butler's jumper. Follow is there from Johnny Selby. Really hard to get to the basketball. Selby's turnaround is good. They don't Which is like incorrect, it. yes. And I feel badly for them to not win a game this season, and... I feel badly for either, but gee whiz, and Ted Hill is such a good official. You don't usually see him make a mistake like that. Five minutes. He took that ugly clanker a while ago, and since then he's been on fire. Now they try to get one at the other end. I think that was a good no call. Carl Hodges is going to get himself into the city. Off the glass and in. Selby again. <laughs> Can't get it to fall. He has really had problems trying to get buckets off the glass. Selby ahead slams it in. No problems for Selby getting buckets. Nice hustle there. Nice look up the court, too, by... Um, and fall for him. Talik Brown, former McDonald's High School All-America, to Johnny Selby with authority, as they say. And Gary Williams just called the timeout. He's out and cracking their team's knuckles. Well, again, this is a big early season game for both these guys. It, it's, it's, it's a benchmark. Now, Maryland's already played two big games against Arizona and Illinois. Lost to Arizona, played great in defense, but their defense has settled down a little bit. Talik Brown, wraparound, bounce pass. Follow up for Selvi, who was white hot yesterday. Blake now closing in on double digits in the assist column. Robertson feeds Selvi. That's what we saw yesterday. As looking for an alleyway to the basket. Butler picks up Selvi. He'll try it again, this time off the glass. I don't think you called that one. On a daily basis, I do the color for the Toronto Raptors. Dell? Well, you'll have to ask him about Rob. Butler down low to show. Three more than their opponent. Butler penetrates. He looks like he's auditioning for the point guard job. The freshman out of New Jersey. 12 3 of the season for Davis, tied with teammate Gene Bain for the team lead. And Selby with the putback. A top Butler, down low Selby. Turns, and Johnny Selby gets in double figures with 10 points. 
I would hope so. I'd be wouldn't be doing this either if I was getting texts. And all the inside power into the so goal. Good. He's got a dozen three-point range tonight. Four of them from Robertson. Another block shot. This time it's Selby who sends it into press row. Connecticut really has done a number in this series. On 10 straight, 18 of 19. Check the clock. He's got seven inside. Johnny Selby going hard. Got it. And he comes to his left hand, and he is awfully tough when permitted to use that southpaw delivery. Double for Anderson. Blocked by Johnny Selby. Ooh, a quick huh? with aggression. By Bishop, but he throws it right into the lap of Robertson, resulting in the Selby runout. Yeah, that long shot, early in the shot clock. Hazelton, Okafor, and Selby on the floor out of the timeout for the Husky. Robertson misses the three. Rebound on a hop to Selby. Yeah, the goes back. Two-man game, Robertson and Selby on the left side of the floor. Selby with a turnaround. So that one over his shoulder. Now goes right side of the lane to Selby. They want to isolate him. He shoots over Vic. Yeah, now that's a matchup they've really tried to exploit. Five first-year players and no player with more than two years of Division I experience. There's your only senior working right there, and he's only been in the program for a little over a year. Mims got a hand on that one. Brown gets it back. Inside Selby fakes Bishop off his feet. How about that one? Another three. Long rebound. Robertson directs to Butler. Brown back to Butler. Down the ball to Selby. Uh, so unselfish. Yeah. You look at Karan Butler's numbers. He's filling things up all over the stat sheet. Steals, boards, assists. Watch this pass. And what body control. He goes straight up to avoid the charge call and finds Selby. That is just pretty. Fisher. Fisher with the runner. That is in the mind of your opponent. And lots of times you don't even have to block shots and cause turnovers. Now they've got numbers at the other end. Down low to Selby and he stuffs it home. Messiah bumped a little as he gets in the lane. A running hook is no ready for Marcus Green. Almost a terrific play. How about Selby staying with it to tap it in? The only two really three-point shooters on the team for Connecticut are Robertson and Gordon. Prado for three. A little strong. Cheeks has it blocked by Selby. Stabbed in the heart on the part of the Bonnies. Inside, Selby goes up and will go to the line. Let's see if they play it. There's eight seconds left on the shot clock. Messiah gets inside, has it blocked. Shooting more than it does his sandal. That's because he wants everybody to know he's a better shooter than what they've been seeing. Tough. Carter rejected inside. Brown elected to reverse it to Robertson. Now it's Butler looking down low. What a sweet feed inside to Selby. Yeah. Robertson from outside. No good. Good rebound inside by Selby in the putback. Boy, he had outstanding position. Since about 4 o'clock this afternoon. We'll explain why later on. Here's Selby against Jones. Down the lane and banks it home. Pretty little tip. Because I was talking to Jim a little bit also on that subject, and you just don't get it. All alone is Selby, and he jams it on his second field goal. They will find out. Here's Butler. Let's the defender pass him. Comes up short. Gets it back. Spins, wangs, wow. <laughs> Selby on the weak side with a putback. Gets it back from Robertson. Working on Jones. Now Selby puts up the left hand shot and buries it. Put a little solo with eight. Yeah. Robertson goes baseline. Tipped up and in. I'm not sure who got it. He's the guy with the ball because Barnes has four fouls. Salmon's inside to Tyler and it's blocked. Maybe a 10 he goes for it. Well, it's 10 seconds on the shot clock. Robertson misses. Selby to follow a foul called with 5.7 to play. Now, the problem for Jim is that it's Selby shooting the free throws, and he is not their best. Well, unfortunately, the coach can't dictate totally what's going to happen That's out there. <laughs> but Selby's been very strong in the second half. 5.7 seconds to play, a one-point game. Now for the lead. 
Didn't look like a 54% shooter there, huh? No, he did not. He wants the ball. Give him the ball. After you make the first one, you want it back in a hurry. For the lead. Wow. Yes. Big time shots. Big time step up. Here comes John Salmons racing to the lane. Lost the ball. Huskies have it. Connecticut wins. Nice job of exploring the defense. They want to make sure they take advantage of the aggressiveness. There's the double, there's the final. How about Johnny Selby stepping outside? And you notice McGee is a big fella from that Kenyon Martin body school. They're going to need to get some offensive rebounds and establish themselves on the glass as well. Mm -hmm. And they had a chance to compete in an action. Johnny Selby with the jump hook in the wall. Isn't it ironic how Jim Beheim gave him all that confidence? Syracuse is not on Connecticut's schedule. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gotten other people involved as well as putting some numbers up himself. Nice play by Price to knock it away. Selby, loose ball. Selby on the left side, scores. Another steal. Butler leads the break. Butler to Selby. He spins, reverse, scores. Down low, lefty on lefty, sent away by Selby. Nine. Backdoor cut. Arah goes in, draws contact. They let him recognize the height disadvantage. Leave it for Okafor. No. Second try. No. Tip Selby's good. And Darian Selby's on the floor. Front. UConn will have to show some patience. Butler with the miss, but Selby cleans up. Here comes UConn looking for something in transition. Selby down low. He's a 53% shooter. Huge shooting discrepancy in the first game. Even bigger so far tonight. And Selby has three field goals, and all of them are within about a six-foot radius of the hoop. Chase can fill it up. He's the best percentage three-point man in Virginia oh. Tech history. By the way, you've gone right back. How about Selby's percentage tonight? Four of five from the floor for eight points. Butler at the foul line. Down low, somebody forgot number 44. So much better in the recent games. Has been hitting 62% uh, in the last four games. That's the reason that Connecticut has been winning. And now, big strong Johnny Selby, an inside shooter, works to the basket with the left hand. Extends the lead to four. You're laying down? Yeah. Whatever's fair, here is a Johnny Selby. The last seven Villanova points have been free throws. Johnny Selby. Slams it down. He has four for the day. Here's UConn three on two with Butler at 6-7 running the break. And Selby with the finish. Up and down, and that's going to ultimately favor UConn. Rebound Okafor and doubt that shaken up on the play. And he's trailing everybody. And Selby with the high percentage shot. And they're going to blow the whistle. Half Huskies up six. Butler beats Selby down low. Spins. Jump hook with the left. Robertson now with seven points. He was a bench player in the first two years, and Selvey rejects Williams, but he never left the play defensively on Williams. He gets back into it. And watch his quick reaction with the left hand coming back. So he went right hand first to avoid the foul coming across the body. 13 and 14. Loose ball again. Comes out to Butler. Wants to run. Selvey. Reverse and hits. Going to get Selby more involved. Selby, the left-hander. Smooth. I was rattling out my kindergarten class. <laughs> Selby again with the finish. It's a long time ago. Looks like it might have been off the glass, but this is just overpowering. Wow, Selby. Florida State a few nights back by 10. What do you What do you tell your kids to work on? How do you How do you possibly keep morale up? There's another one flushed down by Selby. It's different. Puts it on the floor. He takes it right to the rim. How did that not stay in? Selby with the putback and the foul. Reversing things on Hatton and Selby blocked that shot. Is UConn using Okafor's size to pass over people in the backcourt in the press. And they find Selby inside. That was a textbook way to beat. Selby sets the pick. 
Robertson goes by a Manuel and Selby with the putback. He said for the 18th time this season. Off the rebound, Selby rejects the sharp shot. And made 34. Here's Robertson. Great penetration. Finds Selby inside for his 15th and 16th point. Gardner on the top. Robertson's going to have a jump shot. Inside Selby with a soft left hander, and it's 20 to intercept it. Butler. Selby. Boy, for a big man showing the set Good speed getting down court. We talked about before, Selby can put it on the floor, a very good finisher in there, and his game is 8 to 10 feet from the basket. He's the cousin of Salim Stoudemire, who plays as a freshman now, and Selby inside battles it up for the, for the easy two. In the second half. And there's the steal by Selby. Gardner to beat. And Selby scores, and Anderson, uh, no foul on him. And Calhoun comes out. To make sure that uh, his player's all right, and wondering why no foul. He call here. He just does beat the clout. Pass and low to Johnny Selby, who scores. And it's 100 to 97. Down low, Ken again. Nice big hole. Oh, coming over the, from the other side is Johnny Selby. You don't want to get a game going up and down with the Huskies. Butler, through contact to Johnny Selby. Got a three-point opportunity. Don't you stand it still? That's a tough catch. Sure is. 16-14 record. Johnny Selvig looking for position. Drop step. Count it. Talik Brown. Wigan though from behind. Talik. Oh, what a save! Johnny Selby, thank you very much. From the field, Janet powers his way to the baseline. That was partially blocked. Oh. Boy, is he strong in the dribble or what? Missed that one, but Selby bails him out. And Johnny Selby, nice cleanup shot. Miss, and Talit Brown leads a three on three. Talit sets it for Aaron Butler. Hard charge. No, put back by Johnny Selby. That's exactly what Connecticut wants you to do. Take it. Sherrod, oh, throw it right to Selby. Selby jumped that pass beautifully. Johnny down the other way and lays it up. Actually, a pretty good guy to foul on Miami on defense. If they don't get transition, I think they'd really like to show them all facets of their offense. Not that time. The Canes getting good looks, but it's one and done. And they're getting nothing in the way of offensive rebounds, and now Johnny Selby strokes a left-handed jumper off the baseline. He's got these guys not running at that clip. Johnny Selby, who's feeling it, he's hit three or four jump shots tonight. And he again, Bobby's on the floor, ball to the Huskies, lead pass goes down low. Karan Butler puts it up. Next hoop, if the Canes can get it, the uh, Huskies get it, will give them the lead, and it does. As a great road team since 1998-99. Uh, They've done a terrific job. Down low, and uh, Johnny Selby with bodies banging gets the ball off glass. He was three for five in the first half, and he just kind of got away from him. With position half court game, a good ball fake with the eye in the back move. Selby puts it up. Tyler got a piece, and Johnny Selby won't be denied. The put back by Selby of his own miss. The league round to Selby, a reverse. And guess what? We have another lead change as the changes. Don Cricky with Bucky Waters at the Miami Arena on a hot, humid night in South Florida. And Johnny Selby launches long distance and knocks it down, and we're tied again. Down for Butler. Gordon is instant offense off the bench. Johnny Selby gets the hometown bounce. Well, thinking about that, hands ready, and then steal back by Gomes. Good luck. And a block by Johnny Selby. Butler working hard in the post. Oh, oh boy, Johnny Selby. Four floor up big in the team. Technical coming, and this is the second time. All schools, all leagues, all divisions, you name it. He's going to have all the records by the time it's all said and done. He's to run for Providence. And doubt it, no, but Sanders. Don't need it. Well, I, <laughs> yeah. well, I thought maybe. Oh, and I think Tim Welsh might have a case. Now, this is just a pretty pass, huh? We talked about Butler's many assets. I think one of the things he does in terrific fashion is pass the basketball. Again, a good job breaking the pressure. Two on one. 
Shelby from Brown. Yeah, that's the way to attack the press. I mean, they don't back off either. Wrestle it free. No, look for in that game against Arizona. 19 points, 15 rebounds, nine blocks. There's again looking to recognize the defense. Got people in the right spot and made it happen like that. And Shelby with a great hesitation under the basket. Double dribble. Six tonight for Stanley. Gordon. Nice look. Selby, he's left-handed, and it paid off for him there. Butler spins on Emmanuel, puts up the 15-footer. Tap is good for Selby. And that's what I mean. Selby was taken out earlier on the offensive end. Wise looking for Gordon for three. Can't find Gordon, so he goes inside, and Selby bangs went home. Timeout, Connecticut. The deal where Sydney and Bell are going to have to carry them the last five games of the, the season, and they're doing so today. Johnny Selby hits. Here's Selby, and even with the bad foot, Dick John goes hard to the rack and lays it in. Rebound comes down around Butler to Brown over to Selby, and Big John Selby will shoot for a three-point play which we'll get into if this game goes on. They're right there on the edge. Not the kind of way they wanted to start. Tony Robertson finds Johnny Selby playing through a sprained ankle, and Connecticut jumps on top. Boy, he plays with the poise of about a three-year pro. Down low to Selby, and here come the Huskies. Butler looking for help. Alley-oop, here's Selby! Yeah, the, the rebounding differential. Hands off to Selby. Selby. Boy, I tell you what, in traffic. Yeah. And he still is able to hit it. As he's going by, he put up. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> There's an answer to that one. Wow. There's Selby down low. They're getting a lot of easy baskets. And that's what happens when you play too much 1 and 12 in the conference. Not to say that others aren't. I know there's going to be some arguments. But that's my take, and I'm sticking by it. Selby with the loop. It's 48-30. Get it done. In a game where you are trying to prove you belong off the bubble and in the dance. Johnny Selby has had an excellent night from the field. Get the ball inside. Now, early on, Seton Hall was just shooting too well to get anything going in the break. And underneath, the wide open Johnny Selby converts in the out-of-bounds play. Okay, for change that one. Not a category in the box score for chain shots, but he's got a lot of them. And here's Selby, he's got eight. He'll average 19 free throws a game. Good dish down low to Selby from Gordon. Left against the 2 3 zone. Had leads, or they've come from behind from the deficit. They've been in every game. Johnny Selby straight down the lane around Damian Craig. Good dish inside. Selby with the turnaround. <laughs> Selby's just getting terrific position inside. Mangas got seen in this spurt his capability. Here's Selby operating down low on the block. He's had a huge night on senior night. Well, they sees the freshman on him. Defensively. Well, we're talking about Johnny Selby once again. That little ducking move right there. You see him right in the middle, step right in front of Manga. As I mentioned, just about anybody can do that. And here on the baseline, he backs Branwell down. Nice job of getting head and shoulders past him. Branwell really incapable of doing anything standing straight up. And there it is. I got some heart. That's right. He's showing it to Johnny Selby. A little air under that ball, a little bit of arc. Villanova, one of six shooting out of the game. Selby spins on sales. Nowhere to go, but he created space. Butler had it stripped by Snowden, but took it right back and tipped it to Selby. I tell you what, Karam Butler. For these teams, playing a half hour after another game ends. Getting your rhythm early. Selby with the basket after six turnovers, three per side, the last one by Humphrey, Connecticut. His own miss. And got it to go. As those mid-90s Connecticut teams that pressed so well for so long. Well, they got a different skill set, personnel set. They still were pressing you. So when you got a shot blocker like Oakland for you, whether Karan Butler will be back or not next year. Selby baseline take. Humphrey has two and couldn't go aggressively at Johnny Selby. Selby over Humphrey. Johnny Selby from Flint, Michigan.
He acts as a point guard when Brown's on the bench, so he'll make good decisions most of the time as well. Johnny Selby, second field goal of the half. Johnny Selby has kicked it back in the gear right now. Advanced forward. A big hoop here could be a crusher. Selby, a big hoop here. It's 10. And now all those UConn fans will be heard as the Huskies play on the defensive end. Interesting dilemma for Ben Howland and Pittsburgh. They're excellent at guarding the perimeter, but UConn doesn't take many 65. There's nothing Pittsburgh can do. It's in the hands of Selby. Back dribble by Talik Brown. Or on the shot clock, Brown has to take it outside. Justin Brown, Selby inside for two. Well, Selby has been a man among the boys here today. Tough shot, Green. Again, that's the wrong idea if you're Hampton. Butler over to Selby, and the reverse layup for the eight-point lead. That's good, Selby coming in. Brown with four on the shot clock. Selby with the rebound underneath. Huge rebound. Johnny Selby, who's really been the man for this team today. Let's see if the Huskies can hit a shot from the field. It's been a while. Selby inside, yes. He loves going from the right-hand side of the floor to the left. Jump shot on Okafar. You go inside, it's all advantage Connecticut. Selby put it on the floor once and banks it home. In and beating two former coaches of national championship teams back to back. Selby scores inside and they're to block shots. He might have been able to lay that straight up. Selby between two defenders. Not often do you see Johnny Selby turn to the right side. And I, I'm sure that's the reason that Gary Williams employed it. Open okay. roll. Selby with the tip in. And we see right away. And Okafer skies above everyone for the board. To the corner. Butler, he'll come in. Give it up, Selby. Yes. Great job by Butler. He recognized where the defense was. And there's Selby hustling. 